Hi everybody, this is James Tompkins. So, what is the asset investment decision, or what is otherwise known as capital budgeting? Well, the reason I call it the asset investment decision is because when a company spends money on something, it's going to show up over here as an asset. So, what would be some examples of an asset investment decision? Well, what about if a company buys land or a building? Would that show up on this side? It would, right? And would a company need money to buy the land or the building? They would, right? So what are some other examples? Well, what about Apple investing in the iPhone? Did they have to spend money on scientists and R&D and software engineers and so forth? They did, right? And so if all you want to know is what is the asset investment decision, well, we're done. You can turn this off. But if you want a little bit more depth of its relative importance and so on and so forth, then stick around. So what does finance mean? Kind of embarrassing. I always forget. Well, maybe some of you have made a significant purchase, like, say, on a car. Well, how did you pay for the car if, if you've bought a car? Maybe you financed it? Oh, okay, so finance basically means to raise money. And when you look at a corporation, as represented by this balance sheet here, in this context, what would two major decisions or two big picture decisions be that you see? Well, one is what I call the asset investment decision, as we mentioned, what a company spends its money on. And, and by the way, uh, from a finance perspective, uh, let's say a company decides to hire a new CEO. Is that something they have to spend their money on? It is, right? And so that would be an example of an asset investment decision, even though you're not going to see the CEO over here on the balance sheet in accounting terms. But from a finance perspective, hiring that new CEO, is, is that going to either create or destroy firm value, depending upon whether or not it's a good or a bad decision? It is, right? And so we're talking about this from a finance perspective. So the asset investment decision would include, for example, hiring a new CEO. So that's, that's one decision, what a company spends its money on. Well, what's another pic big picture decision that maybe you see here? Well, what about this side? What's going on right here? Well, that's basically what we call the financing decision or the capital structure decision. Now, is the financing decision, I wonder if I'll raise money or not? Or is the financing decision, given that I need to raise money because I'm going to spend it on something, how will I structure it? Will it be, for example, 40% debt? as in this example here, and 60% equity? Or maybe I have no debt and all equity. And so, which decision is it? Well, if a company is going to spend money on something, maybe this is my lemonade stand, or Apple investing in the iPhone, or whatever, must they raise money to spend it on something? Must there be a source of funds? There must, right? And so therefore, the financing decision is not, I wonder if I'll raise money or not. The financing decision is, given that I'm going to raise money, how will I structure it? A lot of debt, high percentage debt, low percentage debt, and so forth. So which of these two decisions do you think is more important? Well, let's think about this. Okay, let, let's take Apple, for example. Everybody seems to have heard of Apple. Apple seems to be all over the world, okay, for the most part. So when you, when you think about Apple, let's take the last, I don't know, seven, eight years or whatever. Here we have 2007, and that's their stock price on a split-adjusted basis. They've had some stock splits since then. And, and they've basically gone up tenfold. Now... Is that because you think that maybe they decided, you know what, maybe we'll make it, I'm making these numbers up, maybe we'll make it 42% debt instead of 40% debt. 
In other words, they've made some changes on this site. Or do you think it's been because of all the products they've come out over the years? For example, the iPhone and the iPad and, and, and well, I know iTunes was before that, but if you have a, a teenage daughter, then it slowly bleeds your wallet dry one dollar at a time. What, what do you think? What do you think is, has been the fact that Apple stock has gone up and split and up and split and so on and so forth? Well, I think most people would argue, and, and I can't prove this, but I think most people would argue that this decision is clearly more important. The asset investment decision is, if they're value-creating decisions, they're, they're going to be what makes the stock price go up and split and up and split and up and split, or, or if they're bad decisions, like Enron, you know, go eventually do what? Go what? Go bankrupt, right? So, in other words, you could make the best decisions in the world on this side. You could have the most optimal capital structure in the world. But if you have a bad business plan, what's going to happen to your company? Well, presumably, eventually, you go bankrupt. And if you have a great business plan, what, are you going to, what do you think will happen to your company? Well, go up and split and up and split, right? Now... It doesn't mean that this side is unimportant. This side is also very important. So in other words, you can make great decisions on this side and it can be undone by bad decisions on that side. In any case, no matter how good your decision is on this side, if you don't have a good business plan, in other words, what a company spends its money on, then that's bad news. Just to give you a quick example, suppose Apple announced, you know what? We're going to get into the fish farming business. Now, if they did that, would that be an asset investment decision? It would, right? And what do you think would happen to their stock price when they announced it? Well, presumably it'd plummet, right? Because Apple doesn't have expertise in fish farming. So the asset investment decision is, is presumably the most important decision a company makes. Now, you have two ways, if you are interested in this, in capital budgeting or the asset investment decision of, of looking at these lectures. One, you can go to my Understanding Finance channel, and there's a playlist tab there, and the Corporate Finance Lecture Series is a playlist that includes all these nuggets that I will be putting on YouTube. But if you want to know what the nuggets are in this area, well, we have understanding net present value. Not memorizing, but understanding. Understanding payback period. Understanding internal rate of return. Understanding profitability index. Not only, well, do we or do we not spend this money, but when is the optimal time to spend this money? And also understanding the equivalent annual cost technique. And then finally, what are the relevant cash flows? that are important to capital budgeting. So all these are nuggets that are or will be forthcoming on YouTube. And thank you for being here today. Bye-bye.